you want to be empowered, understand this. The world is indifferent to you. It's not an enemy, but it's not a friend either. It's a tool. The same way that attributing any type of motive to a hammer would be ridiculous, right? I've seen hammers build things and I've seen hammers destroy things. Well, the same can be said for the world around you. What it becomes is determined entirely by how you choose to utilize it. You know, there are things we learn as we navigate through life that change us. And one of the most critical for me was understanding that, yes, the world is indifferent to me and no, I am not special. Doesn't mean I can't go do amazing things, help people, change the way things are. But if those results materialize, it will be because of what I made with what surrounds me. Not because of what the world owed me or because I was special or deserving. No, it will be because I set my sights on something and pursued it. And so you ask, why is this empowerment? It's empowerment because it puts things into perspective and perspective is power. It simplifies the road ahead. The bad things that happen, they are not personal. They don't mean the deck is stacked against you. And those good things, they are never guaranteed. Everything's a question of grit, of depersonalizing the lows in an effort to capture those fleeting highs. Life is not predetermined. Life is a game. A game that you have the ability to win, to leave this place better than you found it. But you're also capable of taking a different path, right? It's just as easy to, to highlight the flaws, to take on the role of a perpetual victim. The tools are there to do both. And so the question is, what will you do with what you have? Because it's not about where you start. It's not about where you came from. It's about choosing to look around you and say, I choose to be an architect. From this reality, I will build, I will contribute, I will go forth and conquer. When the walls cave in, it's not because you can't or shouldn't. It's because sometimes in life, walls cave in. And now you choose whether to lay in the rubble or rise from the ashes. And this fork in the road, it's gonna present itself many times. Right? The ones who get angry, who point out, who project blame, who will live very different lives than the ones who brush it off as an obstacle on the windy road that is life and press forward. You did not arrive here special, but you sure as hell can leave here special. The world may be indifferent, but you are not. If you're passionate, if you move forward with conviction, you'll become friends with the trials and allies with the tribulations. You'll see that growth only stops, not when an angry world around you decides it's so, but when you do. When your feet stop moving and your heart longs for the horizon no more. But until then, it's all systems go. Until then, you build.